Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good Friday. It's snowing where I am. If you can see in the window there, I'm not really sure if the lighting is off or not, but I'll keep the curtain up today. Very nice day outside. Got a new crypto to feature today. It is blockchain bets. Here it is. They're a one-stop shop for decentralized sports betting and online casinos. Here's a website right here. Here's the different sporting matches you can bet on. More on that later. And they do have a token that's traded on exchanges. Just got listed January 6th, about three weeks ago. Just like some of the other projects to cover, this is sort of a fresh off the bat, fresh off the press sort of project. Doing pretty well so far, up 30% since inception. More on that later. And they're three and a half million dollars total market cap, so they're beyond the micro cap stage. That's around fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollars. They've already gotten past that now. Three and a half million dollar market cap and growing, ranked around number twenty nine hundred on Coin Market Cap, and they are an ERC twenty token. They're listed on Uniswap and then two uh, centralized exchanges as well. BKX and BitMarts is good. Most new projects, small market cap first get listed on PancakeSwap or Uniswap. They're on Uniswap. Now they're already on two additional centralized exchanges. And they're in the Vaulty New community. Here they are. They just announced a partnership a couple days ago. So this is good. A Vault partnership now is gaining more and more buzz, more and more credibility. You're seeing teams make huge sort of billboards, images like this to announce the partnership. You're seeing it be the pinned tweets on team, team's Twitter page as opposed to just being one tweet that gets buried amongst all the others. I think they're going to come a time in a couple months where you're going to see full-on articles written on Coindesk or Cointelegraph.com just announcing a new project's partnership with Vault because it's gaining more and more buzz in the marketplace with all the good things happening in that ecosystem. The specific partnership is with Vault to Change, BCB. It's this project. They added the Vault to Change widget to their, web, their website, so you can use the Vault to Change DEX on BCB's website. And since BCB is a token, the BCB token has been added for trading to the Vault to Change DEX. There it is right there. A couple of my other fellow influencers have covered this project. Pablo Crow, Believes Crypto, right down there. They're both in the Vault ecosystem. So let's get a little bit more into blockchain bets. So more specifically about it. So decentralized betting exchange and online casino built on Ethereum. The platform was formerly known as World Cup Anew, and now it's evolved into a decentralized betting platform. They want to be sort of a, a, a leader in the global betting market. You just connect your crypto wallet in seconds. You have access to a huge variety of sports betting as well with competitive odds. And then in addition to the decentralized betting exchange, BCB will also offer a fully functional online casino. The casino will offer traditional games players expect, as well as newer, more innovative games. Function Bets was born with over $250,000 worth of Ethereum that came from the World Cup ENU project. So that 250 k has turned into $3.5 million. So that's getting out of the microcap stage. The project is successful so far. Dating a lot of users, growing, traction is building. That's good. So you just use the platform, just go to blockchainbets.app, click on the launch app right there. This takes the actual apps. You can bet on a variety of different sports. You can bet on Premier League matches. You can bet on the NFL playoffs this weekend. You can bet on uh, the American Australian Open for tennis. You can bet on NBA games. And then to be coming soon, you can bet on casino games as well, like roulette, poker, slot, a mania. There's no KYC, instant payouts and rewards, and 100% profit distribution. Staking will be incoming soon. 100% of revenue goes to users, as I mentioned there. There is a limit of 50k BTC, BT, uh, BCB per bet at the moment. It's around $200 UST. They are going to increase that limit or get rid of the limit altogether pretty soon. So the limit is pretty good. It shows they are kind of focused on you know, their total betting amount. They don't want one person just cleaning the whole casino out with one bet that they win. So I like this. It shows they're being cautious, prudence, very nice. And the staking, which is coming soon, it will give you ownership and additional rewards, benefits beyond just the profits. Now, as I mentioned, the platform is gaining some usage, which you like to see. It's uh, That's unusual for small market cap projects, but that's a very good thing. So, so far they've about 500 plus active users, around 2,500 total bets placed. The total trading volume is around 17 million BCB, which is, I think, in the mid five figures, give or take, in terms of USD. So uh, that's good. You know, it's not millions yet, but the project's only been around for less than a month. So they are building a loyal user base right here. They're in, in the last couple of days, have been adver averaging 200 daily users using the platform. Very impressive. You know, again, like this person said here, BCB already has a working platform. It's not just a promise. What other low market cap 
market caps. Can you say that? I'd have to agree with that. Most low market cap coins, it's just a vision. It's just a white paper. Sometimes it's good at creating hype, but you don't really know if the platform is ever going to get launched or if you're going to have people using it. Not only is this platform launched, they've got pretty good at increasing user numbers on a daily basis. Very impressive. CZ with his listing tips for Binance. He says the number one thing they look for is usage numbers. A lot of people actually using the platform as opposed to just a pitch and a promise. So very good things for this project. Let's look at the price action. So on the one day, they're up, up 20%. Um, that's very good. Very impressive. On the seven day, they're up. Or this is a, their three-week chart, their max chart. They're up again. Again, most projects dump in the first week after listing. No, this project is up here specifically around 30%. It is outperforming the market. And it's way outperforming the majority of newly launched coins. Very impressive. Let's look at the tokenomics. Do, do, do. The time of the relaunch of the launch of the project, 83% of the total supply was made available for circulation with 3% allocated to the betting exchange, 12% to be burned. The time of this paper being written, 2% of the burn allocation has been executed. So that's more than that now with a further 12% expected to be burned as price milestones are hit. So this is good. This means that the vast majority of the projects are, of the coins are already out in circulation and are not going to be slowly unlocked going forward because when coins are unlocked slowly over a three to five year period, the way most big projects are, those coins generally get sold when they're unlocked and that constantly lowers the price. That's not the case with this project. So this total self-circulating supply number, which I point out in all my projects, should be close to 100% right now, which it is. So it's a huge bonus of this project, specifically from a trading perspective. Now, as I mentioned, they're big on the burns. It's always good. You got to be burning tokens. It just takes them out of circulation. You know, it reduces the incentive for teams, team founders to just hold those tokens and sell them for their own profit. Here, they just burned $50,000 worth of BCB tokens. That's a lot right there. Here is the next burn is going to be 4 million. So this is very good. Definitely need token bonds. Let's take a look at the socials. They have a Telegram group right here, 7,100 members. Very impressive. Social media page, the Twitter page that just got launched in October. So three months, very, you know, very new. Already have 4,200 followers. A lot of traction on their tweets. They do the typical stuff that you need to sort of grow your Twitter page. Big buy competition, sort of a buyback competition right here. Doing another... Uh, Retweet sort of giveaway right here. You know, the giveaways, it might sound cheesy to some people. You got to do that if you're a new project with a limited marketing budget. You know, you don't have $25,000 to buy a sponsor table to the conference. You don't have $250,000 to hire a huge CMO. You got to be doing the little, you know, $100, $200 giveaways here and there. I like this. Let's look at the wallet. So it is an ERC20 token that makes things easier because. Pretty much any of these wallets work. The typical hardware wallets, Ledger, Nano, S, and X, Trezor. You can store the coins here. You can also buy them on the you know paper wallets, like my Ether wallet or Atomic wallet, Coinbase wallet, MetaMask. All that works right there. And that's it for Blockchain Bets. It's a project I'm very excited about. I think the team clearly understands the formula that works for small market cap projects. Obviously, it's a different game. Investing in small market caps, you're looking for the 1 in 10, 2 in 10 projects that does a 10x or greater, makes tons of profits. Obviously, due diligence is especially important with these projects. Always do your own, but it's definitely a team I'm impressed with. They have the usage numbers to back it up. The Volt Enu connection helps a lot as well. I'm very bullish on this project. That's it for today. I'll be back on Monday with a new episode. Everyone have a good weekend. Ben Crypto signing out. Catch you later.